Hi, welcome to Level Up Live. This is Level Up Your Home, Smart Home Automation Company, and we are coming to you Friday from our office in Massachusetts to talk a little bit about air quality really quickly, some exciting things we've seen with air quality and smart home products that are really affordable and really easy to use. Uh, we've recently been testing a product called FooBot, um, which is a product uh, that was created through a father of four who had a child with asthma. And um, he really wanted to figure out, okay, how do I understand air quality and indoor and outdoor pollution and how it affects my child so I can help manage it better. And I also have a child with asthma, so this product in particular um, was of great interest to me and I wanted to make sure I tested it. So we've been testing it for a couple weeks and um, it's a very, very neat product, so I want to share it with um, the fans that we have here on Facebook. And um, this is what it is. It's called, it's in this really kind of neat orange box here. They do a good job with their um, packaging. And uh, they're even kind of a little cute with it. Like when you look at the bottom here, it says, don't look at my bottom, <laughs> which is uh, pretty funny. So. Very simple to set up. It's plug and play. Um, you connect it to your Wi-Fi system. It retails for $199, which is um, if you've got a child who uh, has breathing problems, especially with asthma or allergy um, issues, especially this time of year, uh, that's you know a good investment. Um, so you know, I'll talk a little bit about what makes it smart, more than just kind of a regular air quality monitoring um, product. And uh, also just going to go over air pollution because I learned a lot about air pollution. They do a very good job educating customers about it. And, um, you know, so the first thing to know really is that, you know, we all think of like air pollution as like smog and stuff coming out of, you know, exhaust coming out of people's cars and everything. But um, what's scary is that your indoor environment is actually five times more polluted than your outdoor environment. Um, and we spend, as humans, sadly, 87% of our time indoors. So, you know, it certainly is something that more people are starting to pay attention to as we look at all the different things that are kind of ailing us as a society and the um, chemicals we have and the things we make and how they affect us over the long term. We've got a couple people joining. Hi, guys. Hey, Laura. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Carrie. Um, so, so if, you know, what that says is like, hey, you know, if your indoor air is polluted, do you know what, what it's like? And so real quickly on the, um, the FUBOT, you know, what I experienced with it in the last couple of weeks is it's super easy. First of all, um, it tells you through the color of the product whether or not your air quality is good or bad. So you don't even need to look at your phone app um, to tell what your air quality is. And uh, feel free to, yeah, feel free to put questions in if you have it here. So if it's blue, then you're good. If it's orange, then you've got an air quality problem. So, you know, it doesn't take a lot to really understand where your air quality is. If you want more details, you can go on your app. And um, I'll show you guys this real quick um, before showing you the product. There we go. And the product, by the way, here, we've got our little show on here just to show you. This one, so I'm crashing your head. It's this one right here, right there. So it's pretty small. Um, we've got a sound system next to it with this little light right here. Um, so it can blend right into your decor, which is great. And right now it's blue because our air quality here is blue. So it measures both indoor and outdoor air quality through this app. So right now, um, you guys can't see the screen. It's a very kind of simple thing to look at. But it tells me that the carbon dioxide levels in here are great, 450 parts per million. Um, that also it measures our organic compounds. Those are great. Apparently, they should be 125 parts per um, parts per billion or, or less. Um, and the last thing they measure is particle matter, and that should be um, under 12.5, and ours is at zero, which is really really good. So. 
what that tells um, Justin and I here in the office is that the air quality is good, which is good because we're spending 87% of our time, or if you're Justin, 120% of your time here, um, breathing in the breathing in the air. So feeling really easy. It also tells you what your humidity is inside, which is great, and the temperature. So it's 73. So you can read all that from right here. And then if you swipe it, it tells you what's happening outdoors. So in Malibu, the localized high pressure rain today um, is great. It's 22. And the measure is from 0 to 25. Uh, so this changes on a real-time basis, which is really, really neat. So those are kind of overview of the product, but what makes it smart beyond that, beyond just having comfort um, and a device to understand how is the quality of the air you're breathing in, um, they've connected to Amazon Alexa, which is great. Um, they have also connected to Nest thermostats, Honeywell thermostats, and Ecobee thermostats. And the reason why that's important is if your FUBA is telling you that your air quality is not good right now, Maybe you don't have enough circulation in your house and you need to work through the air through your uh, filter. So it is smart enough to communicate with those um, HVAC devices to start circulation in your house when you need it. So it's proactive and it's working for you behind the scenes. Um, so again, it's, it's been a really good product so far. I like the story behind it. I like that it was invented by a father who had a child, you know, father of four who had a child with asthma, who really felt passionate about understanding more about the air quality for his home. Um, I'll just say that, let's see if we can do this. Amazon Echo. Oh, wait. Yeah. Alexa. <laughs> Ask Foo about how the air quality is. So in case you can't see your FUBA and you can't see that it's blue or red or whatever, you can ask Alexa, hey, what, what does FUBA say my air quality is right now? And it'll answer. There are other more specific questions you can ask as well. So um, pretty neat. It's $199. Um, I'm a big fan of it. And uh, just wanted to bring that to you guys. If you guys have any questions, you know, feel free to post them. And we're going to be bringing products like this in uh, more and more often as we test stuff that we think in the marketplace is really, really good that we think you would want to know about uh, because it's affordable and it actually provides value. Um, the other thing I'll mention is uh, people who have got pets. You know, there's a lot of like pet dander uh, or people who have outdoor allergies this time of year. My daughter also has outdoor allergies. Um, you know, that's... Uh, when, you know, breathing air at that time is really, really important if you have those type of allergies. So uh, Fubot can tell you, you know, what's happening with that, which is great, uh, very, very quickly. And you can, you know, put things into place to help manage your air quality in your home. So I'm a huge fan of the Fubot. I like the packaging. I like that it's funny when you open it up. Um, I like that it's easy to set up. You connect it to your Wi-Fi. It's been really reliable for us here for the last couple of weeks. And um, yes, those of you that are interested in this sort of products, I hope this helps. If anyone has any questions, feel free to post. And if not, we hope you guys have a great Friday. No questions right now? I think we're good. I think people just pop it on to say hi. Happy Friday. That's what Justin writes. All right, guys. Um, Hope this was helpful. Let us know. We'll come out for a free consultation uh, if anyone's interested in learning more about smart home products anywhere here in Massachusetts. So uh, feel free to reach out and message us. All right. Have a great day. Thanks.